A reading from the Gospel of Luke. Then Jesus entered the temple and began to drive out those who were selling things there, and he said, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you've made it into a den of robbers. Every day he was teaching in the temple. The chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people kept looking for a way to kill him, but they did not find anything they could do, for all the people were spellbound by what they heard. Jesus has entered, this is towards the end of the story in the Gospel of Luke, Jesus has entered Jerusalem via the big parade of what we know as Palm Sunday, that entrance into the city. He was not doing it subtly. He was not sneaking in. He came really through the front door, if you will, and announced his presence. And the very first thing he does is goes to the temple and starts driving out those who are selling things. And he passionately quotes the words of the prophet. He quotes scripture saying, it is written that this is to be my house, says God. My house is to be a house of prayer, and you've made it into a den of robbers or thieves. Core to Jesus, top of his agenda when he comes to this destination, this place where he knows he has come to die. He has come to be, uh, to be, to die and to rise again, as he has said now several times in this gospel account. And he comes in and stop one is the temple to decry what is going on there. And that is some of these, not that Jesus is against commerce or that God is against commerce, but that putting some commercial venture in place at the temple that would keep people away from God, that would create a barrier for them getting to God. It is meant to be a house of prayer, says God. And this is a prayer, a house of prayer for my people. And the reason that prayer is important is because prayer is where God has a chance to get at us. So what Jesus is really sweeping aside in this cleansing of the temple, as we call it often, what he's really going after, what he's angry about, is that people would put in place roadblocks to other sisters, brothers, siblings in this world, that God, that, that people would put in place things that keep folks away from God by virtue of a transaction you must make first, versus a house of prayer. And of course, prayer being the place where every one of us has access to God and where God has access to us. That is what Jesus says. I simply will not tolerate this place, this temple that is meant to be a house, my father's house, a house of prayer. I will not tolerate it being made into something else. This passion, this clarity about the mission of what a house of prayer is meant to be is something that is um, noteworthy and and a, a word very directly to those of us who in fact work very hard to keep open the doors of our own temple here at St. James. Of course, not the temple, but one of these great houses of prayer that is a center and not unlike the temple where there's people and commerce and, and all sorts of things flowing through a great urban church, a great cathedral church, it should always have more going on. Not simply, it's not a monastic house. It, it involves people in the city and God in prayer. But we must remember always to keep the portion of it that is prayer first and foremost, and put no boundaries or barriers between people and the God who is reaching out to them. So may Jesus' passion be our own. May we redouble our efforts to make sure that everything we do in this wonderful community of St. James is um, in line with this first priority that Jesus brings in and expresses with great passion and drama when he makes his entrance in what he knows will be his last time arriving at the Holy City at Jerusalem and his last time arriving at the temple. This coming in with a bang and making this point that echoes 2,000 years later for you and me, keeping God's house to be a house where God can reach out to others, to people, our friends and neighbors, family, and where those folks can access God free of charge, free of any impediment put in their place and put in place between them and the God who so um, deeply and belovedly seeks them. So may you and I carry on with that clarity in our own lives and our common life. May God bless you and God keep you this day and always. Amen. <music>